Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Todd and this is Renew Power Wash Company. And um, guys, I did this uh, batch mix guide on Excel spreadsheet. I thought it might help out some of the new guys or even some of the older guys that have been in this for a while that still batch mix and have trouble calculating um, the amount of SH they need to get the strength they need out the gun. Now I have three different columns here. I'm sorry, three different uh, sections here. One for the X-Jet, one for downstreaming and one for the hand pump sprayer. Each one is different because, you know, with the hand pump sprayer, it's whatever you put in the pump is what comes out the pump. There's no diluting or anything like that. For the downstreamer, with mine, it's a 10 for one, 10 to one downstreamer. So for every 10 gallons of water, I use one gallon of SH. X-Jet, most of you know, is 50-50 out the tip. And so it's a one for one ratio. Now, why I did this is it gets a little confusing sometimes on, um, you know, when you're calculating um, the amount of SH you need for what you need coming out of the gun. So let me start with X-Jet. As, as you know, it's a 50-50 it's a, it's a mix. So, the, so if I'm using a five-gallon X-Jet bucket, okay, and uh, I'm using... 10%, let's say I don't use the 12 and a half you get from the pool stores, I use 10% SH. And I want, uh, I'm doing a driveway, say, or some bad stucco, and I want 3% SH coming out of the gun and onto the wall. I calculate that up with a five gallon bucket, I'm going to need three gallons of SH and two gallons of water to get to that 3% mix. Now, say I want uh, a little bit lighter, like a 2% mix, you know, it's a 2 to two to 3. So, 2 gallons of SH, 3 gallons of water. And also, I have a column here, a cell here for uh, ounces of surfactant. Now, surfactant is truly up to you. I'm using this based on the Eliminator house wash mix. And um, the Eliminator surfactant says you use one fluid ounce for every gallon that you're using. So, if you're using a 5-gallon pail, you want to use 5 ounces of the Eliminator. And that's where this comes from. You can ignore this if you want or go buy it. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, but let's say with the X-Jet, uh, I'm using 12.5% SH, okay? And I want 3% mix coming out of the tip because I'm doing a bad driveway or I'm doing a, a stucco home or a brick home. That lets me know in the X-Jet I need to use about 2.5 gallons of SH and 2.5 gallons of water to get to that 3%. Now, what I want to tell you is on my calculator, it doesn't allow me to go above 6.25 uh, because with a X jet, as you know, it's a 50 50 mix. You can't get above 6.25, and that's using straight SH. So if I go here, 6.25, that's half of 12.5, right? Because it's a 50 50 mix, it's going to tell me that I need to use straight SH in that bucket when I'm X jetting, zero water, and that'll give me this strength. Now, if I was to go in here and put in, I want 8% because we know we can't do that. But if you're in your mind, you say, oh, I want it really hot. It gives me a warning and tells me that I can't go over with 10%. I can't go over 5%. With 12 and a half, I can't go over 6.25. So I'm going to retry this and say, oh, I can't do that high. Let me do 4%. Okay. It tells me that in a five gallon bucket with 12 and a half percent SH, and I want, tw I want 4% SH coming out of the gun, then I need to put 3.2 gallons of SH in the bucket and 1.8 gallons of water. And again, this fact it's up to you. Let's go back to what a lot of guys use. A lot of guys use 10% uh, SH. So as you can see, with 10%, the calculation is pretty straightforward. You know, if you want three, you're gonna put three gallons, okay? If you want two, you're gonna put two gallons. That's just how it works out uh, with 10%. Now, some of us use uh, the blue Walmart tote, which is seven gallons. That gets a little trickier, right? So you got seven gallon tote. Now you're using 10% and you want, uh, let's go back to 3%. Let's go here. And it tells you that with a, in a seven gallon bucket, you're going to want 4.2 gallons of SH, 2.8 gallons of water. And then again, the surfactant's up to you using the eliminator. It's seven ounces. Let's move on to the downstreaming um, and show you how that works. My injector is a high flow uh, 10 to 1, so I use 10 gallons of water for every gallon of SH. So most of the time I take this out of a 5 gallon bucket, okay, and I'm using 12.5% uh, sodium hydrochloride. Now, again, with 
12 and percent the most you can get out of that tip is 1.25 you know it's a great house wash blend 1.25 will get you get most houses clean no problem so let me put in here i want 1.25 coming out of the tip of that gun it's going to tell me i need to use five gallons of sh no water so you want to do straight bleach now i want to dumb it down a little bit to one percent you're going to put four gallons of uh, sodium hydrochloride in your five gallon bucket and one gallon of water and again this is a fact that's up to you but in this case since we're using five gallon bucket we're going to use five gallon or five fluid ounces of surfactant. If I was to go in here, you know, on this calculator and say I want 2%, you can't do 2%. So it gives me a warning that uh, when you're using 10%, um, you cannot put a value in greater than 1%. And when you're using 12.5%, you can't put a value in greater than 1.25. It just won't let you do that. So it has you retry this, okay? It simplifies it for you. So you're using a seven gallon bucket. Again, you're gonna be using seven gallons. You wanna knock that down to one, five, it shows you you need to use 5.5 gallons of water, 5.6 gallons of, I'm sorry, of SH, and one and a half gallons of water, and that'll get you close to 1%. Now, I've seen guys batch mix their entire five or 35 gallon batch tank, and um, with 12 and a half, and they want it at 1.25, okay? That means you're going straight 35 gallons with 35 fluid ounces of surfactant. Say so you want to knock that down a little bit and save yourself some, uh, a little bit of money, but still get the job done. If you're at 1%, you can do 28 gallons and seven gallons of water, and that'll get you to 1% in that 35 gallon ca uh, container. Let's drop this down to 10%. Again, if you want one, which is the max you can get downstreaming, if you're using 10%, then uh, you'll use 35 gallons straight uh, SH. I've seen people use a half percent of SH and they'll mix in EBC with that. You know, I don't, I don't know the ratio of the EBC, but I've seen them mix it in with that. And, um, you know, this is what you would, how you would do that. Uh, that means you would use 17 and a half gallons in a 35 gallon tank. Uh, move that to a five gallon bucket. If you're using 10%, um, and you want the strength coming out your gun at 0.5%, uh, unless you're mixing that with EBC or something like that, I wouldn't suggest that. Uh, but that would mean that you would use uh, 2.5 uh, gallons of hydrochloric and two and a half gallons of water. So let's move down to the hand pump sprayer. So everybody knows that with a hand pump sprayer, it just comes out the sprayer, however you mix it in the sprayer. There's no dilution as it comes out of the nozzle. So let's say you're using a two gallon hand pump sprayer um, and you're using 12 and a half percent. Okay. And you want, say you want something really hot. So you want 8% coming out of that tip of that uh, sprayer nozzle. It's going to tell you in that two gallon uh, container or spray pump, you're going to want to put about a one and a quarter gallons of SH and then three quarter gallons of water. And that'll give you your 8%. Again, you can do anything you want pretty much here, and that'll tell you exactly how much you want. Um, let's go down and say you want 5% coming out of this. You're going to use almost a gallon and um, just over a gallon of water. Uh, let's go down to, so I have a bleach uh, pump sprayer. It's one and a half gallons, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult to figure out. I use 12 and a half percent, and uh, sometimes I want 3% coming out of that because I'm going to do a post treatment. So what I do is I put just over a quarter gallon, um, you know, a third of a gallon of uh, sodium hydrochloride and then 1.15 uh, gallons of water. And then if you want to use surfactant, again, this is the just the simple house watch um, fluid ounces that's recommended by Eliminator. You may not want that if you're using it on driveways. So guys, I hope this helps somebody that may be uh, trying to figure out how to uh, batch mix for the X-Jet or for their downstreamer or even their hand pump. Again, I'll go ahead and just click on each of these results and show you the, um, the formula in the bar above. So if you decide you wanna do this on your own, you can. So for the X-Jet, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this cell. Uh, up here is your formula. So if you wanna see that or copy that down for the gallons, water gallons 
in the uh, final box mix ratio. Here's the formula. And for the surfactant, it's a simple formula of equals whatever the gallons is. Now let me go down to the downstreamer. I'll click on the results. There's the formula. Okay. I'll click on the water gallons needed in the final bit mix. There's your formula. Okay. And the surfactant, again, is the formula. It is just, it equals this cell. So whatever this cell is, is what this will be. Okay. It's very simple. If you're using five gallons, you're going to use five ounces, fluid ounces of eliminator. For the hand pump sprayer, I'll click on the results. Here's the formula. You'll notice there is no multiplication of two or 10 here because it comes straight out of the pump. However you want it to come out the pump. Okay. Really all that really changes is your batch per gallons uh, here. Uh, your batch gallons, whether you're using a one and a half uh, gallon pump or a two gallon pump um, or even a hand sprayer, you know, a little one gallon or half gallon, let's say a half gallon pump. Um, it'll tell you uh, what you need to put in that to get this result. For the water that you need, that you need in the final mix, there's the formula. And for the surfactant, there's the formula. Guys, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Share it with the community if you don't mind. You know, a lot of guys would like to know how to uh, uh, calculate the the uh, the batch mixing. So hopefully this will help them do that. And uh, guys, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. There will be more videos coming soon. And I will talk to you later. Stay safe. Bye now.